Welcome to this video tutorial showing how to use exclusion areas in MatchT DSM. I will show the example with DT Master where I have here already prepared polygons for the processing. I generated here new layers and I created an area so I will limit my processing to the green area and then I did digitized exclusion areas here uh, we can take a look here this is the chur a church and additionally also a building here beside it we then need to have data stored as DXF we will do this here by exporting the data into a DXF format so we will select here DXF and then we will define here an output file. I already did this so I won't need to do this again but you would just say OK and then select uh, the necessary parts or perhaps I show it here a second time. And then we can see here we select what we want to export. I will export both and I could limit the area and then we can just continue and process the data into this output folder. That's it. We can then close our DT master here and then we can start to process MatchT. In MatchT I will import here the DXF that I processed and then I will only select the area and for this area I want to process and in the area itself I will define that I will generate a DSM point cloud and also that I will output the point cloud itself as an output. Let me here generate a different folder so we can see the result separately. Then we can go here to the tab morphology and here we can now import our exclusion areas. So we select the DXF and I will select this DXF and here I will use the exclusion areas as exclusion areas. I will ignore the other layer and then we only will import these parts then we can select that we want to use exclusion areas for the processing and that's it we have now all necessary parameters set we have the DSM processing with the point cloud output we have the exclusion areas and I will only run to level 1 of time wise but of course you can also run it completely then I will start the process save the project and then afterwards I show you the result when it's finished so let's take a look at the result. We can close here match T and open the point cloud in DT Master. And in DT Master we will here import the point cloud. I will import it with the tile manager. And then we can see here now that the point cloud used the exclusion areas. And just to assure, I also will import the polygons that I generated. And they are here. This is my exclusion area and borderline. And then I will draw them with different colors. So I will here use for the exclusion the red color. And for the area, I will use the green color. And then we see again how it fits. Uh, be aware in DT Master, if you use it, it looks like the data is not completely nice to the line. But this is because the sparse mode level. If you have a specific sparse mode, then uh, we only use um, representative points. So please zoom in completely, and then you see that the line perfectly cuts here the point cloud. Okay, I hope this helped you for processing uh, point clouds of exclusion areas in MatchT. Thank you and goodbye.